Hi, I'm Ishan from Clark High School. Support for today's Varsity Quiz is provided by Silver State Schools Credit Union. Coming up next on Varsity Quiz, it's Clark and Coronado. It's the Silver League Championship of Varsity Quiz. Hello and welcome to the 50th season of Varsity Quiz, where the best and brightest high school students are matching wits in this unique academic competition. You know, as Vegas PBS is celebrating a half century of serving Southern Nevada, so too is Varsity Quiz celebrating its golden anniversary. There's been a lot of phenomenal growth in Clark County. Want to make sure you know there are now two separate varsity quiz leagues in each season's competition. The Blue League champions were crowned a few weeks ago. Tonight, we find out who will be the champion of the Silver League. Clark defeated Green Valley a couple of weeks ago. Their starters, there's Alex. Hi, Alex. And Shreya. And Ishan. And Shadman. That's the team from Clark High School. For Coronado, they came out on top in their semifinal match over the Meadows, starting for the Cougars. There's Josh. Hi, Josh. And it, it's Francis. Hello. Hey, Francis. Tyler. Howdy. And Saad. Hey, what's up? Uh, we're ready to do the championship match, I believe. There are 25 questions in this first round, each correct answer worth five points. Students, are you ready? Let's play Varsity Quiz. Among the world's absolute monarchies are Monaco, which is a principality, Saudi Arabia, which is a kingdom, and Brunei. Clark Shadman. No answer. Which is what kind of state? Coronado Francis? Sultanate. Yes, that is correct. Uh, based on the name for a generation created by writer Jack Kerouac, what term was created during the time when the Russian word Sputnik was popular? Clark, Shreya? The beatnik? Yes. Only two Americans have been assassinated while they were presidential candidates. One was Robert Kennedy. The other was what 19th century religious leader? Clark, Ishan. Joseph Smith? Yes. In the visual arts, what principle relates to having bright colors that distinguish part of a work from dull colors or angular shapes that are distinguished from curved shapes? Uh, Clark, Shreya? Contrast? Yes. The history of the Mercedes-Benz company can be traced back to what German? Coronado, Josh? No answer. What German engineer and inventor? Clark, Ishan. Benz? No, Gottlieb Daimler. So we move on to this next question, which is a calculation question. What is y if 25x minus 5y minus 30 equals 0? Repeating, what is y if 25x minus 5y minus 30? And we'll go with Coronado, Tyler. 5x plus 6. I don't believe that's correct. Clark, Shadman. 5x minus 6. That's not correct either. We were looking for minus 5x plus 6. No correct answer. We move on. What name of a Star Trek character was inspired by that of the sea between the South China and the... And that's Clark, Ishan? Sulu. Yes. What broad category of muscle tissue performs such functions as keeping the eyes focused, adjusting uh, Coronado, Josh? Smooth. I believe we can take that, yes. What kind of balance is often illustrated on a wedding announcement or any piece of literature where the text is center aligned throughout? Coronado, Josh? Justified. Incorrect. Clark, Ishan. Straight balance? No, we we're looking for symmetrical balance. Next question. What famous 17th century German, a student of Copernicus's work, associate of Tycho Brahe, uh, Clark Shadman? Kepler. Yes. There are three general types of mortgages, including fixed rate, adjustable, and Coronado Francis? Variable rate? No. What other in which there is a low interest rate for a certain amount of time with the remaining balance of the loan due at the end of that time? Clark Shadman. Grace. No, it's a balloon mortgage. Next question. Jedediah Smith is widely regarded as the explorer who found a gateway across the Rockies to the far west through what pass in Wyoming? Clark Ishan. Devil's Canyon. No. 
uh, out of time. We were looking for South Pass. Next question. The last man ever to be held in the Tower of London under lock and key was what Nazi who spent the last years of his life in Spandau prison? Clark Eshan. Hess? Yes. What impure aluminum hydroxide ore is especially associated with Coronado Josh? Bauxite. Yes. In To Kill a Mockingbird, what kind of literary conflict is illustrated when, after Boo kills Mr. Yule, the sheriff must decide? Clark Eshan? <coughs> Man versus himself. Yes. Although there's a great deal of speculation about whether or not he actually has it, in 2018, Vladimir Putin announced his country had developed a nuclear-powered intercontinental cruise missile capable of traveling 20 times the speed of sound, reminiscent of a French term for artistically innovative art. Name that rocket. Clark Eshan. Avant-garde. Yes. Next question. A heterolithologic material consists of different types of what mineral? Coronado, Josh? Rocks. Yes. Next question. What prominent American comedian and star of stage, radio, television, and more than 50 feature films? Clark Eshan? Orson Welles? No. Made nine consecutive Christmas appearances in Vietnam in support of U.S. troops. Coronado, Josh? Bing Crosby? No, it was Bob Hope. Next question is a calculation question. The interior angles of a hexagon are 6x, 8x minus 8, 7x, 4x plus 14, 5x minus 6, and 120 degrees. How many degrees are there in angle 5x minus 6? Repeating, interior angles of a hexagon, 6x, 8x minus 8, 7x, 4x plus 14, We'll go with Clark Shadman. 94 degrees. That is correct. Next question. What legendary monster of the lakes and rivers of Scotland, Coronado Sod? Loch Ness Monster. Incorrect. Was believed to have the appearance of a water horse and would offer rides to people only to take them to their doom underwater. Clark Shreya. A Kelpie? Yes. On tripods used in photography, what's the term for rotating the camera up and down in a vertical plane while the camera remains in a fixed horizontal plane? Coronado, Josh? Vertical pan. Incorrect. Uh, we're out of time. I don't believe he got in in time. Not in time. So we were looking for tilting. Uh, next question. Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro severed diplomatic ties with the U.S. and accused the U.S. government of engineering a coup after President Trump recognized which man? Clark Eshan. Juan Guaido. Yes. In a wood fire, oxygen reacts with what complex carbohydrate? Coronado Josh. Cellulose. Yes. Originally known as the Cathedral of the Protection of Most Holy Theotokos on the Moat, today this structure in Moscow's Red Square Coronado, Josh. St. Basil's Cathedral. Yes. The comedian Ernie Kovacs was killed in 1962 when his car crashed into a telephone pole in Los Angeles. Given that this make of vehicle was later made infamous in Ralph Nader's book, Unsafe at Any Speed, what kind of vehicle was Mr. Kovacs driving? Clark Eshaw. A Ford? No. Coronado Saad. A car. No, it was a Corvair. So we've come to the end of round one. We want to learn a little bit more about our players, but also since these teams have been in the quarterfinals and the semifinals, we'll introduce each player and ask them a specific question. So we'll start with Clark and 11th grader Alex. Hi, Alex. Hi, hey, Nate. The question we want to know is if you have made plans for after high school, even though we know you're only in the 11th grade. Well, I was thinking about taking my cat, Neo, and we're going to start a cat cafe which mixed with the board game cafe. Well, good luck with that then, Alex. Thank you so much. Thank Here's you, the 12th grader, Shreya. Hi, Shreya. Hi. Do you know what you're doing after high school? Um, going to college to study history and science. And have you got a college picked out? Um, no, not really, not yet. Okay, well, yeah. good luck with that. And Thank good you. luck in the varsity quiz. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, here's Ishan, 11th grader. Hi, Ishan. Hello. After high school, you will be doing what? I will be planning on double majoring in the history of apples and EU patent law. <laughs> okay. Well, good luck with all of that, Ishan, and good luck here on Varsity okay. Quiz. Here's 11th grader Shadman. Shadman, how about your post-high school plans? Um, I plan on going to college and majoring in one of the sciences and maybe becoming 
getting a PhD later on to become a medical scientist. That's wonderful. You still got a little time though. You got another year of high school under your belt. That's our team from Clark High School. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And now we'll uh, meet our players from Coronado, a 10th grader, Josh. Hi, Josh. Hey. You've got a couple years of high school left, but have you thought about what you'll do after high school? I'm having trouble keeping, next to, keeping track of next week. Yeah, so. I hear you. <laughs> so I'll no big deal. I'll come back next year and maybe have a better plan. That's a great idea, Josh. Good luck with that and good luck here in Varsity Quiz. 12th grader, Francis, you should have some idea what you're doing after high school. Yes, I'm going to go to uh, UNLV with a major in accounting. Wonderful. Good luck with that, Francis. Thank you, Thank you so much, and good luck here on Varsity Quiz. Uh, 12th grader Tyler, uh, I'm guessing you have some post-high school plans? Uh, currently undecided, but I hope to become a video game programmer one day. That's great. That's, you pursue that, Tyler. Good luck with that, and uh, good luck here on Varsity Quiz. And we have uh, 11th grader Saad. Hi, Saad. Hey. Uh, you got another year of high school, but have you thought ahead to what's after that? Uh, not really. I guess it'll be a little bit spontaneous, or should I say negative delta G? Shout out to anyone who gets that. Okay. Well, good, good luck with <laughs> that, Saad. That's our team from Coronado High School. And our bonus round is next. Going into round two, the score, Clark 55, Coronado 30. There's a lot of changes that could happen, but before we start the bonus round, we have one new player on each team. For Clark, we want to say hello to Blue. Hi, Blue. Hello. Welcome and good luck. And for Coronado, there is Emerald. Hi, Emerald. Welcome and good luck to you. So uh, in this bonus round of 10 possible questions, each correct answer is worth five points. The team with the correct answer will get two bonus questions, each of those also worth five points. Team conferring is permitted on those bonus questions. We'll have 10 seconds allowed before the team captain's response is required. Uh, the round is timed at six minutes and time starts as I begin this question. During what general period of European history were weapons such as glaives, battering rams, and maces? Clark Ishan. Medieval. Can we accept that? Yes. Bonus questions now for Clark only. Answer the following associated with the Middle Ages. First, in the Middle Ages, ultramarine was made by the powdering of what semi-precious gemstone? And second, name the system of theology and philosophy taught in medieval European universities based on Aristotelian logic and the writings of the early church fathers having a strong emphasis on tradition and dogma. I think it's scholasticism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is everyone good? Yeah. For the first, lapis lazuli, and for the second, scholasticism. Both are correct. You got bonus points. Now, this question for both teams. The 19th century work, American Ornithology by Alexander Wilson, was quickly eclipsed by what work by John Audubon? Clark, Ishan? Birds of America. That's correct. Bonus questions now for Clark only. Answer, the, answer these by giving an answer that includes a bird. First, name the title of a John Grisham novel featuring the murder of a Supreme Court justice. Second, name the book by Ken Kesey that portrays tyrannical nurse Ratched and the patients of an Oregon State Mental Hospital. It did become that Oscar winning film. First one. I don't know. I have no idea. What's a funny thing I can say with a bird? <laughs> For the first, the thieving magpie, and for the second, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Cuckoo's nest is correct. The first one was the pelican brief. So some bonus points. And this question now for both teams. By the end of World War II, more than 2,700 British people and 4,400 Belgians had been killed by attacks of what German rockets developed by Werner von Braun? Coronado Francis? V2? Yes. Bonus questions now for Coronado only. Answer the following associated with rockets. First, name the most powerful heavy lift rocket used by NASA to carry astronauts to the moon and enormous payloads into orbit. Second, involving a nozzle that can be swiveled, what adjective indicates a system of thrust vectoring used in most modern rockets? What do we got? Um, oh, maybe articulated? Articulated? Like it can move around? Okay. Oh. I think first one Saturn V? I think so. Are you sure? I th I think. First one Saturn V, second one articulated? Saturn V is correct. The second was gimbaled thrust. So some bonus points. And now this question for both teams. John Coulter thought to be the first white man to see the Teton, Mount, Teton mountain range. In 1807, he joined two fur trappers who were heading west in search of beaver pelts after being discharged from what expedition? <laughs> Coronado, Josh? Lewis and Clark. Yes. Clark. Bonus questions now for Coronado only. Answer the following associated with the Tetons. First, used as a backdrop for many movies, the Tetons were the setting for what iconic Western actor's film debut in the 1930 movie The Big Trail. 
Second, name the valley between the Teton Mountain Range and the Gros Ventre Range in Wyoming, sitting near the border of Idaho that's known for its expansive homes and famous residents. Expansive homes? I don't know the second one. Why would famous people be in yes, Wyoming? Yes. <laughs> uh, Badlands? That's South Dakota, but... No, isn't um, it between? Yeah. Say between? First one, John Wayne. Second one, the Badlands. John Wayne is correct. The second is Jackson Hole. So some bonus points in this question now for both teams. What song title is the same as the phrase for the second full moon in a single calendar? Coronado, Josh? New moon. Incorrect. Oh. Single calendar month. Clark, Alex? Blue Moon? Yes, you got to speak up a little bit, Alex. That is correct. Bonus questions now for Clark only. Uh, answer the following associated with the moon. First, moon dogs practically always occur only during which phase of the moon? Second, what's been a primary cause of regolith formation on the surface of the moon? Uh, I don't guess like estrogen. Okay, uh, moon dogs are like when they're like beats on the moon, so let's guess like full moon. For the first full moon and for the second asteroid impact? Uh, full moon is correct. I'm not sure if the judges will take the second one. No, we were looking for meteorites or micrometeorites, so some bonus points. Now this question for both teams. In 1937, Franklin Roosevelt wanted to expand the Supreme Court. Coronado Francis? Court packing. Uh, incorrect. To include how many judges? Clark Eshan? 13. Incorrect. We're looking for 15. This question again now for both teams is a calculation question. You have 10 milligrams of selenium-83, which has a half-life of 25 minutes. In how many minutes would that sample decay such that only 1.25 milligrams of it? Coronado, Josh? 75 minutes. Yes. Bonus questions now for Coronado only. Answer the following calculation questions. First, given the following function, f of x equals 6 minus 4x minus 8x squared plus 7x cubed, find f of 7. And second, in hexadecimal, what is the quotient of face divided by 12? Repeating, given the following function, f of x equals 6 minus 4x minus 8x squared plus 7x cubed, find f of 7. Second, in hexadecimal, what's the quotient of face divided by 12? Captain? Todd? No guess for either? Okay, we were looking for 1,987 and DEF. No bonus points this question now for both teams. We're out of time for the round. Okay, that is the end of the bonus round. We want to take a moment now to say thank you to the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas. They help provide judges for the in-school competitions that really led up to today's match. And we want to give a shout out to the staff and leadership of the Clark County School District's Student Activities Department. They coordinate every step of the program from early in the school year all the way to these championships. Our speed round is next. Going into round three, the score, Clark with 90 points to Coronado's 55. We say it every time because we mean it. In the speed round, anything can happen. We do want to make sure you know there's a, a returning player and a new player for Clark. We welcome back Shreya and say hello to Edmund. Hi, Edmund. Hello. Good luck here on Varsity Quiz. Uh, one new player for Coronado. We say hello to Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Glad to have you here. So uh, in this uh, bonus, in this speed round, that is, each correct answer is worth five points. Now, this is also a timed round at six minutes. There are 30 questions. We'll get to as many as we can. If we do get to all 30 before the six minutes is up, the match will be over after the response to that 30th question. Here we go. Give the Greek name for the souls or spirits of the dead, which the ancients considered to be mere shadows of their living... Clark Ishan. Shades. Yes. Who led the expedition to the North Pole that established Camp Jessup? Coronado, Josh. Amundsen. Incorrect. In 1909. Clark Ishan. Perry. Yes. Name the oily secretion of the sebaceous. Uh, Coronado, Josh. Sebum. Yes. Which was the last of the World War II conferences of the Big Three? Clark Shadman. Yalta. Incorrect. I believe he got in in time. That's Coronado Charlie. Potsdam. Yes, you don't have to lean into the microphone, Charlie. We got you. Next question. The heartwood of a tree consists of what tissue that's no longer functioning in nutrient transport? Coronado Saad. Phloem. Incorrect. Clark Shreya. Xylem. Yes. 
Uh, next question. Name the decoration technique by which uniform vertical grooves are carved or formed into a surface such as a column. Coronado, Josh. Floating. Yes. In surveying, what's the name for the beginning or ending point of any survey line? Coronado, Josh. Period. Incorrect. Uh, time, we're looking for corner. Next question, what's the term for a color scheme using three colors of equal distance from one another on the color wheel? Coronado, Josh. Trichromatic. I don't think we can take that, no? Clark, Ishan. Tricolor. No, we're looking for triad. Next question, the world's highest navigable lake is on the border between what two? Clark, Ishan. Peru and Bolivia. Yes. The most reactive metals are those in which two groups? Coronado, Josh. The alkali and alkali earth metals. Uh, we don't think that's correct. In, uh, in which two groups on the periodic table? That is correct. He gave the names instead of the numbers, so that is correct. You get the points. We move on. What is the term for the raising of a land surface by the deposition of sediment? Coronado, Josh. Mounting. Incorrect. Time, we're looking for aggradation. In 1978, after decades of monarchial rule, what... Coronado, Francis. Iran. No, what Spanish king ratified his nation's new democratic constitution? Clark, Ishan. Juan Carlos II. Yes. Name the ship associated with a disaster in Prince William Sound in 1989. Coronado, Francis. Exxon Valdez. Yes. In relation to plant succession, what's the opposite of a pioneer species? Coronado, Francis. Keystone species? Incorrect. Clark, Ishan. Species? No, it is a climax species. Next question. The four basic variables in simple population models include birth, death, immigration. Coronado, Francis. Immigration. Yes. What's the Italian equivalent of a tempo noted in German as snell? Coronado, Josh. Adagio. No. Did he get in in time? We'll give it to him. So, Clark, uh, the Edmund? Moderata. No, we're looking for Allegro Vivace. Next question. By population, what was the largest city in the area at the time of the Gadsden Purchase? Coronado, Francis. Yuma? No. Clark, Shadman? Tucson. Yes. In physics, what kind of quantity is indicated in this statement? Today's high temperature was 15 degrees Celsius. Clark, Shadman? Heat? Incorrect. Coronado, Saad. Qualitative. No, it's scalar. Next question. Name the valley in ancient Greece where the lion slain by Hercules dwelled. Clark, Ishan. Nemea. Yes. What on a ship is supported and protected by a binnacle? Coronado, Saad. Mast. No. Clark, Ishan. The lower decks. No, it's the compass. Next question. What's the centerpiece of the Jefferson National Expansion Memorial in St. Louis? Clark, Ishan. The St. Louis Arch. No. Coronado, Francis. The Gateway Arch. Yes, that's the correct name. Next question. Scott O'Dell's novel, The Black Pearl, is set on what North American peninsula? Coronado, Josh. Labrador. Incorrect. Clark, Ishan. Florida. No, it is Baja. What are all homogenitis clouds, how are all homogenitis clouds produced? Clark Shadman. Condensation. Incorrect. Coronado, Charlie. Evaporation. No, by humans, homogenitis. Next question, because of its flavor and texture, what bivalve mollusk is sometimes called Chesapeake white gold? Clark Eshan. Oyster. Yep. A burn blister is filled with what clear watery fluid? Coronado, Charlie. Pus. No, the, that contains white blood cells. Clark, Ishan. Lymph. Yes. How many Greek mythical characters would be in a room containing all the muses, furies, and fates? Coronado, Josh. Fifteen. Yes. Name the adventurous American author who was an ambulance driver in World War I. Coronado, Francis. Ernest Hemingway. That is correct, yes, sir. In the 19-teens, a New York City woman introduced eye makeup and built one of the first huge and enduring cosmetics companies in the U.S. Her first name's Elizabeth. Name her. Clark Shadman. Betting court. No. Coronado Charlie. Maybelline. No, Elizabeth Arden. Next question. Which beast in Animal Farm represents the working class? 
Clark, Ishan. Boxer? Yes. Which part of a Barkan sand dune is the highest? Coronado, Josh? Crest. I don't think we can take that. Clark, Ishan. The center. Yes. We are out of time, so let's find out who won. Our final score in the championship match, Clark 145 to Coronado's 100. Thanks to both teams for an excellent match and congratulations to Clark High School for winning the 2019 championship of the Varsity Quiz Silver League. Of course, we also want to say congratulations to Coronado. They're an excellent team, and all those students have a bright future. But joining me now for the trophy presentation to Clark is John Case from the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas. John? Yes, on behalf of the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas, I'd like to present this trophy in the 50th year of varsity quiz to Clark High School. There you go. <laughs> all right. So... After this momentous occasion, next week we have the Silver League All-Star Match, and that's kind of a, a fun evening. It includes more lighthearted questions and also bragging rights for the winning team. But there's also something very important next week. We'll find out which outstanding Varsity Quiz student is the recipient of the prestigious Howard Naylor Scholarship. We'll also find out the VQ Coach of the Year. We hope you'll tune in when we wrap up the 50th anniversary season of Varsity Quiz next Monday at 7.30 right here on Vegas PBS. Good night.